I heard this some time ago. I heard that there were certain scientists that were trying to find a way to utilize um, food to help deliver this mRNA technology. Use it like the mailman to deliver it to you. And I thought, boy, that sounds nuts. That's probably a little too crazy. I'm willing to go into some crazy rabbit holes and at least check it out. But that sounds a little too crazy. I once was lost, oh, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see. Welcome to Built on Faith Homestead. My name is Justin. Uh, me and my wife and my three children uh, live in a tiny house. We try to grow all the own, all of our own food as much as possible. Uh, trying to learn how to do all these kinds of things. We make lots of mistakes, have lots of failures, but we do the best that we can. Um, and first and foremost, we do the best we can to serve the Lord uh, however he sees fit for us to serve him. In that also, we fail from time to time way more often than we ought to. We are thankful that the Lord is good and faithful to forgive us of our sins. We try to learn from our lessons and do better next time. All that being said, now that we're properly introduced, <laughs> let me say this. This video is going to be very complicated to make because I have to talk very vaguely because if I don't, I will get my second YouTube strike and will um, be in YouTube jail for some time. If that does occur and we don't have any videos for quite some time, please look at us or check us out at Leaving Egypt on Rumble. That is our secondary backup plan. So what's this video about that I'm so concerned about? What's this video about that I think YouTube's going to possibly give us another strike over? It is about mRNA technology and how it's being used. I'm not going to talk about the doohickey that people get um, potentially in their arm that potentially has R mRNA technology in it to try to potentially help with certain illnesses that may be out there. I'm not really going to talk about them much. Um, there is lots of um, research and study out there if you're willing to look and if you're willing to look at real opposing viewpoints. Let me tell you this, if people aren't allowed, if people don't allow their idea to be debated, if they don't allow negative ideas to come up um, within their particular idea and to flesh those re negative ideas out, then they're being one-sided. Therefore, I recommend that you find studies that and people that talk both negative and positively about these things and weigh those options out for yourself. Now, uh, why am I still talking about this, right? Because I'm not going to talk about the, the doohickey in the arm. What I am going to talk about is food. I heard this some time ago. I heard that there were certain scientists that were trying to find a way to utilize um, food to help deliver this mRNA technology, use it like the mailman to deliver it to you. And I thought, boy, that sounds nuts. That's probably a little too crazy. I'm willing to go into some crazy rabbit holes and at least check it out, but that sounds a little too crazy. So when praying about what kind of video to make next, I felt nudged in that direction. So I went ahead and took the time to do some research. And you know what I found out is that there are some scientists that would like to use food like lettuce or spinach uh, to uh, deliver mRNA technology to you like the mailman. So um, if you don't believe me, here's the articles. I show you these articles to, to say this. I hope and I pray that you read food labels at the grocery store. Me and my wife don't do it nearly well enough. We, I admit, right? And half the stuff in there I can't pronounce. I don't know whether it's good or bad, right? But I think that most of us can recognize that if a loaf of bread from the grocery store doesn't mold in like a month's time, like something's kind of funky doodle about that bread, right? Maybe it's not the best thing for us. And so we do have to, maybe we ought to begin to look into um, 
different foods and what's going into those foods. Maybe we ought to learn to look at the labels. Maybe we ought to look at what other countries allow in their grocery stores and why they don't allow a lot of the stuff that we have in our grocery stores. They allow the similar product, but not the same ingredients. The companies have to use different ingredients. Maybe we ought to ask ourselves these questions. And maybe if you don't want this particular technology delivered to you within a food group, Maybe we ought to learn to try to grow our own food as much as possible. You may say, now Justin, we just rent or we just, um, we have an apartment, whatever. Do what you can. If you can grow some lettuce in a windowsill, grow some wet lettuce in a windowsill. If you can get some pots and plants and whatever, do as much as you can. It may not be everything, and that's okay. We don't grow everything that we eat. We wish we did, but we're not there yet. We're, I, I think, realistically, we could hit it 80 to 90% pretty easy, um, but we're not there yet. It's, it's still taking a lot of time and a lot of, pro and a lot of work and a lot of practice and a lot of failures and a lot of mistakes. Um, so I'm not standing here telling you to do this on some high pedestal of like, we're doing this and you need to do it too. What I'm saying is, if you are concerned about what you're ingesting, if you're concerned about the food you're intaking and what might be in it, it may be wise just to grow it yourself so that you might know what is in it. It might be wise when you go to the grocery store to read the labels. It might be wise to ask questions about these things. I'm talking very vaguely because once again, I don't want to get kicked off YouTube. Um... I was shocked and blown away whenever I found out, like, man, this is real. There are scientists that are trying to develop this technology so that people don't have to take a doohickey in their arm while they do is eat a salad. It blows my mind just a little bit. And so, if this is something that concerns you, please like and share and all this stuff. It really goes a long way to helping us out. Uh, if you think I'm nuts, that's fine too. If you think I'm crazy, that's fine too. I understand. Uh, it's okay. I'm not mad at you, right? It's all good. I want to say this. As we move forward in time, I hope and I pray that even today and right now, you know the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior. I hope that you don't lean upon your own understanding, but in all your ways, trust the Lord. And you know what? If we are trusting the Lord, we're doing the best that we can to serve Him. We're doing the best to follow His leading, His guidance. We'll be all right. We appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you next time.